<clears throat> so you can see here, I had oboe converted to reformed, and now nylon, nylon, whatever, that's not even the finished name. Basically where Helsinki is now, that's now being converted to reformed to. So I think I'm going to convert to reformed, actually. And uh, Österbotten is being converted to Protestant. I don't think we got a hundred with Austria. I don't think they're not really interested in doing anything right now. Probably because my military is not strong enough. Um, yeah, it's being converted to Protestant. But I assume once the religious cell here wears off in all these places. I would guess that these would quickly convert over to um, reformed. So I think it's best for me to do reformed since I'm sure that's what most of my provinces are going to end up as. And Yes. I think that's I think that's best. And there goes my alliance with Bohemia. <laughs> What's Kovno? Where is that? Oh. Maybe I can save it. Probably not, but we'll see. Let's do that one. Let's build a proper fleet. Yep, there it goes. Well, that was not that's not ideal. But, yeah, it is what it is. What other reform countries are there? Scotland is. Well, it's not super helpful, though. Switzerland is also not super helpful. But, you know, if it continues to spread down here, Lithuanian Poland might become reformed. Muscovy is just getting bigger and bigger over here. In fact, they're no longer a valid rival for us. They got too big. <coughs> yeah. Burned a Protestant, reformed. Yeah, you know, I mean, this sucks that we lost with Bohemia, but I think it'll help us avoid more problems in the future. Just go ahead and, and converting. <coughs> and as long as we don't lose our alliance with Poland, then we are we're pretty much safe. They're our biggest power that we got. Anyways, you got Brandenburg as well. But, you know, I could go ahead and try to find a replacement Brandenburg, or replacement Bohemia. Probably not Scotland. <laughs> um, let's see. You could do, like, Brunswick or Saxony. I don't know, I'm so far away from everyone, it's hard to, like, find allies. Yeah, go ahead and lose the taxes. Can start converting our provinces though. Since we got the religious cell thing. But we only got one uh, missionary, so it's gonna take a little bit to get all that done. Luckily it doesn't take long, only eight months. 
And we still got naturally converting provinces over. That's about to be Protestant. That's about to be reformed. <clears throat> See, let's upgrade our units. We'll get, we'll get the Culverin. And we'll only one thing to do there. I thought, can I? I can get another unit here. What is this? Unless you a new edict. Let's, let's get another infantry unit. So you can see here, Reformed is slowly creeping down into Lithuania. So I'm really hoping, and Poland as well. I'm really hoping that uh, they'll convert to Reformed with me. Because if they do, that'll definitely put us on better relations. Now, Poland rarely does. They usually stay Catholic, but I have seen them convert to uh, one of the Protestant religions before. So it's not impossible for them to, but we'll see. We'll see what happens so there. Should I finally get my first idea? I think I should. I'm going to finally do it. That'll put us at almost uh, 24,000 man manpower, which would be nice. Looks like Norway is <laughs> struggling with some reform zones. So that's funny. Again, I did want another ally. I'm just wondering who I should try to be allies with. There we go. Holy Roman Empire is called for Reich's Regiment. I guess I already did the Reich's Reform. So, yeah, it's probably, I mean, probably not many people are going to want to be allies with me. Now, yeah, but Bohemia's gone since I'm already allied with Brandenburg. I could try, like, Saxony. Even though their enemy is Brandenburg. I probably want something, someone stupid. I could do like Lunaburg. Never mind. <coughs> Almost done here with the missionaries, at least for now. Soon we'll be pretty much fully reformed. Norway? <laughs> Norway just gained independence. <laughs> what? I didn't, I didn't know that could happen. They got overwhelmed by pretender rebels, I guess, and somehow... Is that a thing that could happen? There's a horrible king, too, 111. But heck, you know, since Norway is independent and has no allies at all, well then, this changes a lot of things, doesn't it? This changes everything. Let's do that one. I wonder even... Hang on. I, c 
can even set them as my rival. Okay, guys, we are going to Norway. Let's get ready. We're gonna wanna march up here. I wonder if they even have a navy at all. Dang, this is... Alright, we gotta move fast, though. I'm sure Denmark will be all over that. And if Sweden gains independence somehow, too, they'll... Norway's gonna go quick. So I gotta be make I gotta make sure the one that I'm gaining them there all their land. It, <laughs> my country's gonna form like some weird, like half circle shape. But uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That'll like allow us at least to encircle Sweden, take all of Norway's land and resources, and then maybe we'll be powerful enough to take on Denmark, Sweden, and Muscovy at the same time. I'm gonna build a couple more ships. Let's get a few caravels in here as well. <clears throat> and once those three ships are done, we'll be good. So as soon as we get the claim on Finnmark, we shall we shall go. We'll speed it up until we get to that point. I want to get I need this war to happen as soon as I can do Eva and the other good thing about that if I can like get down take out down all this land it'll put me closer not only to the rest of Europe where I can probably get like France or Austria as an ally. Um, it put me closer to the New World as well, so I, we would open up the option to go across the Atlantic for sure, which I might do if um, if I can secure Norway quickly, especially if I can secure Norway and Sweden eventually. Probably go up to like Canada northeastern part of the US as well <clears throat> we are gonna have to uh, research that idea though colonialism still not too close to us either alright so we're there for being able to fabricate the claim or do Finnmark let's slow it down I didn't have my army ready either, which is stupid, but I think Norway's army isn't going to pose too much of a threat to us. God, did real Norway really ally Denmark already? Crap. <sighs> but... But we can just call in Brandenburg and Poland. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Kids, it's time to go. Let's do this. So we definitely got the advantage here in this war. And Poland's even going to give us some money. Thanks, Poland. Poland is... I love them. They're my bros. Always giving me money and stuff. <coughs> We are just going to have to watch out for that Danish army because they're probably going to come up to me first. And Sweden's going to come down here as well. So hopefully Lithuania will go take them. I didn't have my forts ready either. And that's why I'm not a professional player because I'm not good at this game in a lot of ways. <laughs> I'm only on two. I can go up to three probably. That'll... Alright, so Lithuania's going to go up there, probably, hopefully, take out that Swedish army. And Poland, they're on the march as well. Brandenburg, Brandenburg, I don't know what they're going to try to do. I want them, if they can, if they can go up from the south, attack Denmark, that would be the most helpful thing. But I don't know if they can march through these guys' lands here. They might not be able to, might have to go all the way around. Which would kind of suck, but... 
guess they can't really do much about that. Let's get our navy here together. So we got the Danish navy here, which we probably beat, but with the help of the Swedish navy here, I'm not entirely sure. Though Poland does have their own decent-sized navy. So I think that's probably we should probably get a leader, an admiral. And let's go try to win this naval battle here. Hopefully Poland would come help me. Not showing any signs of coming to help. Thanks, Poland. Brandenburg came to help, so that's good. Yeah, there we go. Now we can move on down here. I don't think I lost any ships that battle. Didn't really look. It's fine. Let them laugh. Did lose a couple ships there, so let's take a, like a month to heal up our navy. We also got one ship there. So Lithuania, I don't know where the heck they're going. Looks like they're going for that fort in Sweden. And we'll go start seeding out Trondelag here. <coughs> Looks like Sweden's actually giving up on that, which is fine with me. Well, maybe not. Bavaria started the war. Bavarian <laughs> aggression against Denmark. Succession war. What happened? They like trying to claim the throne? Something? I don't know, but it helps me, so I'll take it. Ugh, just spilled water on myself. Okay, that Danish army is going up to the north, so we can. Looks like we'll be able to avoid them. Unless he wants access, because they went to war. <laughs> they went to war to help Bavaria. I'm not going to give them access, because I don't want that war to end quickly. Crap, we should probably gotten a ship to help Poland up here. It might be too late. Sweden, Swedish Navy is going to intercept us. Ah, uh, now we're going to get caught too. Now it looks like we'll make it back, okay. Yeah. I should have been paying more attention to my navies. Alright, Polish army, they're marching all the way around to Danish army. Looks like they're retreating. Don't blame them for that. <coughs> I have a lot of fervor points to spin. Well, we should probably focus on war while we're at war. Hopefully we can get this fort quick too. I want to try to not go too fast though. I don't want to speed things up because I got to keep my eye on that Danish army. I don't know where they went, and they're certainly a threat to me. There they are. They're going back to face your Bolton. And ugh, Polish army though. The army armies right here. Polish armies going. To, they're going back south. I don't know where they're going. Away, Matchbird. Sucks. Minus one stability. Random event. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That was good. We got a 14. Denmark. It looks like I don't know where, what they're doing. But at the same time, Moldavia here. They're kind of isolated. <clears throat> going to Helsingland. They appear in either Jemtland or Oplandia, Op Oplanda. Then I'll probably have to get out of there. Like Twenty-one percent chance now. Poland still not really doing much. Oh. Nor is Lithuania. Brandenburg's just finally not getting here. Looks like they're gonna go up here to help Moldavia. 
Is it funny that in like almost every war I fight in, you've got the that that which is good. But almost every war I fight in where I've Poland on my side, like Moldavia is usually the more <laughs> the more helpful of the two. They're always like so eager to go help. I love them. So Denmark's still confused, they're just walking around, doing god knows what. <clears throat> and we're in good shape. Should be ticking upwards, and we are. No land battles yet. It's been all naval battles so far, and just sieges. So I think we can go ahead and speed it up to four. There's the Norwegian army, but we beat them if they came across us. So no big deal there. It's just that Danish army that I'm worried about. <clears throat> While my allies continue to derp around up in the north. I wish I could have my navy go help out, but we got this, this giant Danish navy blocking us. Brandenburg's coming. Looks like they're going to come and try to go to Akershus or Olholsen. Nope, they're going to this place, Elfsborg. But we're making pretty quick work here. Bergenhus can even get this idea. We're still ahead in technology, so it's probably not a bad idea to just go and get that one. Help us recover some manpower. We are taking a bit of uh, casualties from attrition and stuff, so. can convert Goldingen. I may as well do that. But I'm hoping in the future, like, uh, the center of, we'll just automatically start converting those provinces down there. <laughs> now, because of the circumstance of Denmark being allied with Norway, and because of Sweden being a PU under Denmark, I could even snag some Swedish land, which would be absolutely amazing in this war. Because that would weaken Sweden further. <coughs> now, it would leave them exposed to being annexed by Denmark, but at that point, I think if I could just become more powerful than Denmark, that's not going to be that big of a deal then. Looks like Brandenburg's going to get wiped out there. Sucks. But I'm trying to... Now, Poland took Stockholm. Excellent. And I need their army to come cut off the Danish army before they get to me. Because it looks like Denmark finally might be coming for me. But we got Bergenhus before they got here. So let's fall back for now behind the safety of the fort. No, Denmark's just going to go up there actually. But they can't get to us because they got to siege out these two first. <coughs> someone to come take Vaster Bolton. Now it looks like Denmark might go and fight Poland. Yep. Or they're thinking about it at least. I might go try to fight Norway and beat them real quick. But then the Danish army might come help them if I do. So I'm not sh sure what I should do. I can get the next diplomatic technology. Now it looks like Denmark's coming back up here. Let's see what they do for a sec. They're going to Vermland. <coughs> Let's go march back up here and take Vistabolton so that way we can more easily request that one and more. Uh, peace deal. Jeez, this sucks. I'll take the negative money. But you know what? Actually, Denmark's getting kind of far away, so let's go fight this Norwegian army here. Alright, looks like we're just going to scare them off, actually. <coughs> So 
let's go take Vaster Bolton. And hopefully Poland can finish this off quickly. And Brandenburg, they're back down here doing whatever. We got a first piece over from Norway. I'm sure it's useless. Yeah, I can get way more than that in Norway. You gotta be more generous than that. <coughs> So I think we let, I want to continue this war for a bit just since we're doing well and not really under threat. I'm still making money. Still got my guy here. Let's see if I can steal some maps. Let's do the North Atlantic. So it looks like, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to go down towards Akershus, start uh, sieging out that. But Poland's going to get there, actually. Nope, they're walking past. I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, it looks like now they're committing to it, but I'm going to help them, just to help speed it up. <coughs> and there goes Elfsborg. Another peace deal from Norway. Not interested in Norway, sorry. I know, like, you just gained your independence and all, but I'm here to take it away from you. Got a 14 there. Sounds good. And you know what? No, I'm going to hold off on the humanist ideas. should probably try to catch up in technology there. Since I'm a little behind in the administrative technologies. So that's falling pretty quickly. And as soon as that's down, Norway's, we're going to uh, jump up quite a bit in war score. Since that's our capital. Yep. And we can even wait until Bolhusen is down. We're finally starting to lose money here. But that might have been... Nah. So uh, yeah, I'm probably going to want to end the war relatively soon before I start having to take out loans. But I think we're safe to go ahead and march back towards our own territory. And as soon as this house, uh, fort falls, then I think we can get a pretty good peace deal from this. Take a lot of land from both Norway and Sweden. There we go. So let's see what we can get. I can try to I can do a set piece with Denmark. Might be able to get a little bit more. So if we could try to take like the whole Norland state maybe. Or at least most of it. So start out with that. Do Vasterbolton. Lapland. No, they're not willing to give me that much. And I can aiken their alliance with Muscovy, though. And take a little bit of money from it as well. So that'll be a good peace deal for us. So there we go. And that puts us at its 99 war score with Norway. I don't want to fully annex them just because that'll be a lot of overextension. Probably a lot of aggressive expansion as well. But we can get quite a bit from them here. So we're going to get Finnmark. We'll take the hard to burn out province. What are the states here? So we could probably get the whole from the log state. Please correct me if I'm saying that wrong. And what was it? Yimpland? Yeah. And we still got a lot of war score. I could make him release Iceland. Which maybe I should do. Since that'll, uh, since that way maybe I could expand towards Iceland in the future without having to worry about fighting Denmark again. So I think I'm going to do that. And maybe... I can 
I can't make it my vessel. Not whilst taking these provinces at least. But I think what I could do. I'm going to take. What is this? Romstal. Bergenhus. And Stavangar. And that's. Um, and Agdesidon. And that'll give me the whole west coast. And I'm going to take their money as well. And that'll be... Heck, I mean, I could still go, but I think I'm good. I think that's enough. I don't want to overextend myself too much here. I am taking a lot. But I think we'll, that'll be good. <coughs> so there we go. Very big gains. Got a lot. <laughs> got a lot to core here, though. Let's get started, though. At least I can do it all at once. And a lot of Norway, I believe, they were reformed. A few provinces are, so that's good. <coughs> a few provinces are reformed. And yeah, so. Probably gonna stop recording here. I think that was a great episode. Um, got a lot, com a lot accomplished. Took some land from Sweden. Took a lot from Norway, and we are well on our way to becoming a world power. Perhaps forming Scandinavia soon as well. So, yeah, very, very productive episode. I'm glad with how that one turned out. But um, I think this will be two episodes. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, uh, see you guys around. Unless I continue playing, in which case. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh,